Are you ready for the future of Linux? In 2025, the desktop world is heating up. System 76's brand new Rust native Cosmic Desktop goes head to head with the mature, ever evolving GNOME 49. Which one will reshape your workflow and define the next generation of Linux UIs? Let's find out. What we'll cover Quick roadmap for the viewer What Cosmic and GNOME 49 are, their technical philosophies, a feature face off, tiling, workspaces, apps, customization, performance, roadmaps and community momentum, and a conclusion about who should pick which. Quick introductions. Cosmic, in short. System76 built Cosmic from the ground up as a Wayland native desktop written in Rust, bundled with a new compositor and a suite of native apps. It focuses on responsiveness, memory safety benefits of Rust, integrated tiling, and a curated Pop! OS experience. GNOME 49, in short. GNOME 49 is the latest major GNOME release with continued Wayland improvements, new or updated core apps, and UI polish intended to keep GNOME the stable, integrated choice for many distributions and users. This release keeps pushing Wayland forward while refining core apps and workflows. Under the hood, philosophies and tech. Language and safety. Cosmic's REST stack is a deliberate move. Memory safety, fewer classes of runtime bugs, and a modern toolchain oriented toward developer productivity. GNOME remains primarily GTKC, with growing REST bindings in some projects, reflecting years of maturation and broad app ecosystem support. Display Server and Compositor. Both projects are focused on Wayland as the default modern backend. Cosmic ships with a Wayland first compositor designed by System76 for close integration with their stack. GNOME 49 continues the GNOME project's multi year work to make Wayland the default across more hardware. Modularity versus maturity. Cosmic is intentionally modular and opinionated about UX choices curated apps, integrated tiling, a single cohesive theming story. GNOME trades some configurability for unified design, a mature app ecosystem, and distribution support. Feature face-off. Workspace management and tiling. Cosmic. Integrated window tiling that's built into the desktop model, aimed at users who want keyboard-driven layouts and fast multitasking without third-party tiling extensions. Expect ergonomics tuned for power users and multi-monitor setups. GNOME 49 dynamic workspaces, and a long history of extension-based enhancements. GNOME keeps improving the workspace experience, but advanced tiling often relies on extensions or external tilers for now. Application ecosystem and integration. Cosmic. Ships with a curated suite of native Rust apps, files, editor, terminal, media tools, designed to look and feel cohesive with the desktop. That gives it a plug-and-play, integrated experience for Pop! OS users. GNOME Benefits from decades of app development A huge catalog of GTK apps and distribution support. GNOME's stability and extension ecosystem make it reliable for broad audiences. Settings, customization, and control. Cosmic Opinionated defaults with straightforward user controls targeted at making productivity features discoverable. Expect good defaults plus deliberate user toggles. GNOME 49. Consistent design language. Less low-level tweaking by default, but many users rely on extensions and distro presets to restore deeper customizability. Performance and resource profile. Cosmic's Rust Wayland stack aims for snappy performance and improved memory safety. System76 touts performance and multi-GPU, multi-display handling improvements in their compositor. GNOME 49 continues incremental Wayland performance improvements, but also carries years of legacy code and compatibility layers. Real-world performance will depend on drivers, hardware, and the maturity of the compositor on your distro. Roadmaps and Adoption Cosmic's Path System76 has publicly documented their alpha, beta, stable roadmap and is rolling Cosmic into Pop! OS releases as they mature the stack. Expect iterative releases where System76 prioritizes the Pop! OS user experience first, then broader distribution packaging and community contributions. GNOME's Trajectory 
GNOME releases on a steady cadence of feature updates and app refreshes. GNOME 49 specifically focuses on polishing Wayland support, shaving edge cases, and landing app improvements. GNOME's big advantage is broad distro adoption and contributor base. Community note. Expect Cosmic to attract users who want a modern integrated Pop! OS default. GNOME will remain dominant in many major distros and enterprise environments. Community sentiment is lively. Forums and subreddits weigh in frequently. But long-term adoption will be guided by stability, hardware support, and developer interest. Who should choose which? Pick Cosmic if you want a modern, opinionated desktop with built-in tiling, rust-powered safety goals, tight Pop! OS integration, and an out-of-the-box curated experience aimed at productivity. Pick GNOME 49 if you value a mature ecosystem, wide distribution support, stable app compatibility, and a proven roadmap for Wayland and GTK-based apps. GNOME still offers the broadest, it just works experience across many hardware setups. Conclusion. Both Cosmic and GNOME 49 are healthy, forward-looking desktops that push Linux forward in different ways. Cosmic brings fresh engineering and an integrated, Rust-powered approach. GNOME 49 brings polish, maturity, and ecosystem reach. There's no single winner. Only the right desktop for your priorities. Which one do you want to try first? Drop a comment, tell us your workflow, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more deep dives. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.